In this video, we'll use direct modeling on imported 3D CAD models. After completing this step, you'll be able to use press pull, move copy, and delete. To get started, we want to make sure that we open the supplied dataset saw handle casing. This dataset doesn't contain any parametric history, so any changes that we want to make, we need to use our direct modeling tools. In this instance, we're going to take a look at this rib that's between the bosses. We're going to start by first going to Modify and Move Copy. We're going to use Faces. We're going to select the inside faces of this rib. And I'm going to go to a front view. And then I'm going to use the Rotation option. So notice how Fusion 360 is automatically adjusting the length based on our selection. I'm going to say OK and allow it to update that based on those changes. So very quickly and easily, we were able to update this rib, which is based on complex geometry. If we wanted to completely get rid of the rib, we could simply select all of the faces associated with the sides and hit delete on the keyboard. Now, when we do this, it's automatically going to get rid of it and patch the underlying geometry. In this case, you can see that it did leave an edge division, but in the upper section, it was able to cleanly patch it. If we want to, we can also select these faces, and in some instances, when we use Modify and Delete, it's able to patch that surface as well. We use the same thing for the next section and hit Delete, and now it appears as if that edge or that rib was never there. If we want to make other adjustments, we can use Move Copy, for example, to move this entire boss to a new location. I'm going to go ahead and select all the inside faces. We might need to rotate it around to make sure that we grab the fillet and the inside diameter. And then we can simply move it to a new location. Remember when we're doing this that a lot of background calculations are happening. In some instances, it's a very easy change. In the case of that rib, it was very easy to just simply rotate. However, now it has to update the calculations for the fillet on the outside of the housing. This becomes a much more complicated process for Fusion 360 in the background. So we need to be careful and understand exactly what we're asking it to do. And in some cases, it might not work exactly as expected. In other cases, it'll be perfectly fine. If it has problems, one thing that we can do is we can select the fillet on the outside and we can use delete. That allows it to completely remove that fillet and it makes the calculation a little bit easier. The next thing that we can do is we can take a look at press pull. Using press pull, we can modify the height of this boss quickly and easily if it needs to mate with something on the other side of this housing. So once again, using move copy, delete, or press pull are great ways to adjust this imported geometry where we don't strictly have parametric history that we can make those changes to. From here, there are plenty more that we can adjust by simply going around, selecting or moving geometry. For example, we could use move copy to move the vents or to create more vents in the housing, to adjust any of the internal webs or ribs, or even make adjustments to some of the other geometry on the inside or outside of the handle. For right now, however, I'm going to go back to a home view and make sure that I save this before moving on.